It's the incredible Ram Animal. Bruce, how low can you go? It's the incredible Ram Animal. Welcome back, everybody. It has been far too long since we have done this. In the years that I have been on this planet, from 1984 to 2019, 2019, not my year. Absolutely not. Uh, maybe somebody else's. I can think of a few people. Uh, not mine. Mm -mm. But I'm here now. We're moving forward. Forward progress always, right? Yes. Tattoo. That's what this is. This is supposed to be forward progress. So we're doing it. We'll do it. I, uh, I have like a ton of mail that came in the last like three days. And by the last three days, I mean one of these packages is from like May of 2018 that I left inside of a box when we moved from the bay closer to Sacramento. And, and I, uh, I totally forgot about it. And then I was cleaning out boxes the other day and I found it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna open this. So, fun story. I ran the Canyons 100K, uh, that video is down below. And I, I grabbed a woman's small by accident. And so I wrote them and I said, hey, I'm not a small woman, I'm a medium man. And they said, okay, cool, what's your address? And they sent me the shirt. Oh, I love the Canyons. What a great race. Thank you for sending that a year and a half ago. This just came in. This is the new dope hotness. I, uh... So I've been on the team now for like a couple years, and I love their clothes, and I wore the same outfit for four days on the Tahoe 200, and it was comfy, it was cozy, and I tell you what, for clothes that I have now had for longer than I should have, the smell is negligible. I mean, like, their stuff doesn't hold that nasty funk like some other shirts have done that I've worn, right? Like some race t-shirts I've got from like 10Ks or whatever, I wear them like three times and all of a sudden I smell like, you know, I'm, I'm committing crimes against the Geneva Convention. But, uh, but Runco, their stuff is, uh, it's good. It's good. Oh, this is so, oh, I'm wearing this at Castle Peak and uh, it's going to get cold, but this is, this is fresh. And this is good too, because I have a tendency to run at night. Look at that. It's all shimmery. And, uh, so hopefully I won't get hit by cars. That's good. That's real good, right? Right. All right, children. Thanks for joining us today. Try not to get hit by cars. This, I... Oh, right, I already... I already recorded B-roll for this. Are you down with the thickness? Look at this. Look, this is gratuitous. This is insane. This is, um... You know what, though? Like, as thick as this is, it's, um... It's zero drop. There's no change to the foot shape, to the foot form. Uh, there's no, like, constraining toe box like other thick-soled shoes. Shots fired! I, uh, I've taken these on a, on a little test spin around town, and uh, I love them, but I feel like, uh, I feel like Earthrunners did me dirty. So these are a prototype called the Kronos. And um, I feel like they did me dirty by sending these to me uh, like a year and a half after I did Kuyamaka 100K. The trails of Northern California are very like smooth and it's like granite sand and big smooth rocks and they'll, they'll tear up your feet, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's not like some of the rocky trails down south or even some of the trails out east. Uh, it's just insane rocks, small rocks, it's just like your feet are like always constantly morphing over them. Um, 
and and they, it takes its toll. You know, I'm definitely a proponent of barefoot running and natural movement, natural form, all that other stuff. But if you're like pushing as hard as you can for 100 miles, 63 miles, uh, it, those rocks, they, they, those rocks, you know, those rocks, they kind of, they, they hurt. But these would have been awesome. So I guess I'm going to have to run like Kuyamaka again or something. Funny story, I was actually supposed to run the San Diego 100 and the Tahoe Rim Trail 100 this year, but I had to give them both up uh, for financial and personal reasons. So that sucked. But Castle Peak this, this weekend, I got it. And these bad boys, these bad boys are coming out. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I'll be up in Truckee, Northern Tahoe, uh, putting these things to their paces. They've, of course, got the new lace, the new buckle. They're just so great. And I tell you what, for the size... Um, it's interesting because they're not heavy at all, uh, but the foam density is, uh, is really good. So they have like a, a durability to them that I really, I really enjoy, right? I don't know. So we'll see how they go. I, uh, I hate to kind of jump the gun, but I'm pretty sure that they're just going to feel amazing. Um, yeah. Life of an ultra runner who runs in sandals. Uh, climb up mountains in thick soles. Good times, right? I got this big one. These Kevlar bags. There we go. Yes. This one I've been waiting on for a hot minute. Uh, waiting on, by waiting on, I mean I was waiting to order it because I'm kind of a jerk like that. Uh, so I hadn't ordered it in a hot minute. So yes, Team Ultra Spire, as they say. I, uh, I made a video. I love their gear. I love their bag. Uh, I have taken that thing on short runs, long runs, Tahoe 200 runs, uh, just like day hikes with the family. And it's, it's incredible. So I got to be on the team. So I said, hey, can I be on the team? And they're like, yes, you can be on the team. And we'll find, send you some free stuff. So I got a hat. Look at that. Isn't that nice hat? It's pretty cool. It's got this cardboard in it. It's kind of pinching my head. I'm gonna have a cool thing. Oh, and I got a buff. That's sweet. Asthmer for ultra runners. Oh god, I need some soup. Yeah, it's asthma for ultra runners. And a buff. It's cute. Look at that. Since 1985, I'm only one year older than this company. And uh, since my kids are little gremlins and chew things up, they destroyed the tops of my bottles. Uh, so I had to get extra tops. So that's, that's pretty cool. Hello. <gasps> oh, is it September already? It's the Area 51 meme. That joke didn't land, I'm sorry. I'll try again better next time. Extra bottles. Let's do it, come on. Where are we at? Oh, look at this. Come on, focus, there you go. Samsung Galaxy S9. I usually shove this thing in the pocket of my Runco shorts, but it fits. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's so cool. This thing fits a gigantic phone in a gigantic case. That's pretty dope. I, uh, awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna drink fluids out of this. Uh, if I'm running sideways, let's not ask what those fluids are. That's kind of it. I did have, oh, I got some stickers, so I'm putting them on my car. Yeah, good times. You know, I, uh, I do, I have the red, I have the red band now. I told you it was too, too tight, I need to fix it. Um, is that?
Go. I'm sorry. Very truly sorry. You know, some guy asked me, I gotta pull this question up. Some guy asked me the other day, he said, two weeks ago, he asked me, he said, how long have you been running in sandals? I've been running in sandals since 2014, five years. He said, how long did it take you to transition? I started running in sandals uh, after I'd been running in Vibram Five Fingers for two, three years. Um, that transition was terrible. I broke my metatarsals. I, uh, I, I had problems with my form, my feet. I did too much too soon. I didn't know how to train. Um, and I trained in Five Fingers all the time, which uh, actually denies your body the ability to... Um, to have sensory feedback on your, your, your toe tips and the balls of your feet and your heel. Um, so you, you end up kind of developing bad form. If you're transitioning from shoes and uh, like corrected form, um, you know, like pronation correction, as they call it, uh, from shoes. Just going from shoes to, to, to barefoot, you know, sandals, modern, you know, kind of um, the new minimalist movement if you're going to the minimalist movement from shoes and you've had like you know 20 years of bad form and you go there you can't you can't go minimalist you can't go minimalist you have to go barefoot you have to spend two three days a week running barefoot across a grassy field you know sound of music you know -la -la -la. you have to build a good form first then you can transition to minimal footwear um, because the way minimal footwear uh, encourages you to run. Uh, if you've never ran like that before, you can kind of have a, a false sense of confidence, of, uh, overconfidence, uh, and it can lead to injury. So it actually took me, I'd say, a year and a half to transition to correct form. Uh, uh, Ken Bob Saxon, his book, Guide to Barefoot Running, kind of changed my life, changed my perspective. I started running actual barefoot barefoot. Uh, I still do from time to time just to kind of keep the form in check. Um, but once I have good form, then I was able to run in anything. So that's why I can run in Earthrunner's thinnest six millimeter sole. I can run in, um, you know, their like uh, their their mountain treads, and I can run in their you know thickest prototypes. Uh, I have even ran a mile and a half in thick military boots uh, at a pace that would qualify me for a hundred percent scoring on my Air Force fitness test. Um, just because I have good form that I developed, I took the time to develop by running barefoot and training. Um, so that keeps me moving, that keeps me going. Uh, take the time to do it right. If you're getting ready, you're like, man, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get sandals and run right. Get the sandals, but also train barefoot. Um, you know, that was uh, definitely something I wish I had started sooner was running barefoot. Um, but after I started training barefoot, sandals have just been like the big thing for me. I let my feet splay in a way that uh, five fingers never did. Um, also, they don't stink and they don't look weird. You know what I'm talking about? That guy, he was like, oh, that guy's wearing uh, five fingers. Oh, he's fucking creep. Oh, that guy's wearing five fingers. He's a weirdo. Kids, let's sit over here, right? <laughs> I'm not that guy anymore, which is good. Uh, I'm shitting all over five fingers, and I'm sorry, but uh, it's true. They're kind of weird looking. Sandals. I mean, look at these, right? I mean, yeah, these, are, these are cool as hell. I wear these with, like, jeans when I'm going out. I don't know how to run a mountain with marathons in them, so, yeah, whatever. Um, I just kind of rambled. I'm sorry there, Nathan Carney. He said, I've only been going back and forth between sandals and shoes, but I guess I never had the patience to build up miles. Yeah, I, uh, I can run barefoot, you know, for, I think the most I ever did barefoot on roads was 20 miles. Um, once you have good form, you're locked in. But in sandals, my skin, more than my tendons, just feel worn out. That is a weird statement to make. So I think some of the, um, the biggest things I hear about earth runners or sandals in general, is, uh, is skin. This should not hurt. If this hurts, if this hurts, if any of this hurts, your fitment is wrong. You just need to tighten it up, 
And that means you're gonna need to maybe break out a pair of pliers and shimmy some of these things around. Slide the buckle back because when you slide the buckle back, it changes the angle in which this wraps around your foot, uh, which can bring up your heel. If you slide this back, this can take this up your heel more. Slide the buckle back, this goes up your heel. If your heel's sliding out, slide the buckle back, this goes up. Stay with me now, kids. I, uh, but, yeah, if it's, if it's chafing in weird places, then just move the buckle out. Some people I know have um, reported that uh, this knot chafes, and this knot chafes the inside of their foot. There's a simple fix. So Earthrunners has this around two holes right there, right? Two holes. Move this to the outside. So just move them over both one. This will then, the inner one, right, the inner one will come up out of the first hole, and then the outer one will wrap around the outside of the shoe. So instead of just coming around this middle piece, it comes out around this rubber. So if you have a, if you have a, a knot blister right here, just go right there. Just move them over. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The pads on my feet are super sensitive when I run in the sandals and I run pretty quietly, no slapping at all. That is good. But I bet if you, Nathan, if you ran barefoot, I bet you'd find uh, that you get blisters and you get sore spots and sensitive spots and hot spots in more places than you probably feel comfortable. So do that. It's going to teach you to cause less friction, right? When you're running and you're coming down and you're, you're sliding less, you want to come down, you want to kiss, you want to come up. Come down, kiss, come up, kiss, come up. You don't want to like slide, and rub, and put too much pressure on your toes. Run barefoot, get the form down, and then you'll feel better in sandals. That is, so that's about all. So that's about all I got. So that's about all I got. Thanks for joining for a kind of a weird edition. I gotta go pack for 100K. And uh, I'll see you later.